Hey friends, welcome back to the Guitar Max channel. And you know what? I really have not covered wireless systems lately. And you know, a lot of companies have reached out to me and you know, they want me to check out their wireless setup and I have not done it because in the past few years, people have just not been playing live very much. And a wireless setup to me is something that's really mostly going to be used when you're playing a show, playing a concert, playing live, right? And not that many people have been playing live for obvious reasons. And so I felt like wireless systems just weren't that relevant. But two things happened. One, now concerts are pretty much back to normal. And so a lot of people are playing live again. You know, I've been enjoying going back out to concerts here in Los Angeles lately. And the other thing is that NuX, which is one of the companies I've really enjoyed checking out the amplifiers from in years past. Well, they've got a wireless setup and they reached out to me and they said, hey, do you wanna, you wanna check this out? And I said, yes. So this right here, this little box is a complete wireless setup. And yeah, just in case it wasn't clear, you know, they offered to send this to me and I accepted. And so I did not buy this myself, but if you go out to buy it, the price for this new is around $150. And for that price, the really big advantages of units like this is that they are really easy to use and they're also very, very small and require basically no maintenance because all of the battery power and everything is built right in. But let's go ahead and take this out of the box because I've also heard that this has a really cool sort of little case and the way it charges and everything is supposed to be really slick. So let's go ahead and uh, pop this bad boy open here. Look at this. Whoops, just lost something here. And uh, there is the case right there. This is, this is very cool. Look at this, this thing here, this is the entire wireless setup. Now, what did I drop here? This is probably the instructional manual of some kind. Well, <laughs> I never read those. So let's just go ahead and open up the case here. So you open this up and there we are. And oh now, yeah, this is what I was talking about. This is what's, what's really cool. Inside here, you've got the receiver, you've got the transmitter, and it is in this case, but this case is also the charger. I don't know, can you see this? I'll give you guys some close-ups of this. Look at that. So there's a button on the outside of the case which checks your battery level and you have a uh, micro USB charging port right there. And then the way, the, uh, the way these plug in, the same thing, both the receiver and the transmitter, just the, uh, the plug that plugs into the guitar or the instrument or you know, the amplifier, whichever end, the plug itself acts as the charging plug as well. So same thing with both of these things. You just plug them in like that and then they start charging. Now of course there's a little pocket right in here which uh, has a, uh, a dual USB cable. So I guess, let's see. Oh yeah, so these units actually have their own uh, USB charging ports on the side. So you can charge them separately or you can plug them into the case to charge and then you can charge the case on its own. Now what's really cool about that is that you can have the case charging while you're using this unit. Like you unplug these, you plug them into the guitar or whatever, you're using it and in the meantime you've got the case plugged in and it is recharging the case. So as soon as you're done with these you plug them back in they charge some more, they charge off the case, right? And then you're ready for the next gig. Now the battery life on these is like three, three and a half hours around there. Honestly, that's not real long, right? But I mean, it's not very long because of how small these units are. They can only put so big of a battery inside of these. So you probably do want to charge these between every show or gig that you're going to do, right? Now, yeah, three hours, you probably could, like if you forgot to plug them in or something like that, you probably could get through a couple of gigs with just one charge off of these. But for peace of mind, I would think you would want to charge them between every show. And I mean, I guess if you're like Manowar trying to set a world record, you guys remember the time Manowar played for like 
five hours, like five and a half hours or something like that. Well, in that case, you might have to get a couple of these units and swap them out. But I think for most people's use, you can use this, use it for the show. When you're done, you put it back in the case, it recharges, and then you're ready for the next show. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and we're gonna test this. And the thing that I'm really testing on this is interference or how well it blocks out all the other signals. Because to me, with a wireless unit, that is really the deal breaker. What can happen sometimes with bad wireless units is that there will be static and popping noises and outside interference. And so that is really what I want to test here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to plug the transmitter into my guitar. I'm going to use my Harley Benton signature guitar, which unfortunately is sold out right now, but uh, that's beside the point. And then the receiver, the other end, I am going to plug in directly into my interface hooked up to my computer. And the reason I'm going to do that is by the computer, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of signals. I've got the Wi-Fi there. I'm going to put my phone right next to this thing. So there's a lot of potential for interference and we're going to see how well it does with that. Okay, so now let's get into the demo. And as always, guys, if you enjoy videos like this, checking out cool new guitar products and also staying up on all the latest news in the guitar universe and you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing right now. Okay, we'll plug these in and listen to how they sound. Let's see if there's any interference and just the overall quality of the signal. Let's check this out. Okay guys, so how did that sound to you? Honestly, it sounded crystal clear to my ears. Uh, I didn't hear any interference, anything like that. Uh, also, I can tell you by when I'm sitting here playing the guitar and then listening to it, uh, I really couldn't hear any latency. I mean, yeah, technically there must be some amount of latency, but it was so short, so small that it was undetectable to my ears. So that's a really good thing too. Now, a couple of the things I noticed um, in, the, in the documentation and everything is, one is if you charge this case, uh, you fully charge this case, the case will be able to charge the wireless units two to three times. So you don't have to keep charging both of them all the time, right? You can just charge this and then charge these off of the case uh, and then, yeah, for every two or three charges of this, you, you recharge the case once. Does that make sense? Also, the other thing is that if, let's say, you've got a couple of guitar players in your band and you're both using these wireless units, uh, they say that you can use up to six of these wireless, of these NUX wireless units 
simultaneously in the same space and they will not have any interference. So, you know, are you going to have like six guitar players or like four guitar players and one bass player and a guitar player? You can all be on the wireless units. Now, I'm not able to test that myself because I just have the one set here. Um, but I don't see any reason why that wouldn't work. All right, guys, as always, I want to hear from the audience. Does anybody have this wireless setup out there? What has your ownership experience been like? Um, I got to say, I've really enjoyed the, the new X amplifiers, which I've been, I've been checking out those for years, uh, especially they're like little combo amps and that kind of stuff. Those have always been really good. Uh, but this is the first time I've tried out one of their, one of their wireless setups, although I know they've, They've had these for a long time. So guys, that is pretty much it. I'm going to put links for all this stuff that I was talking about in the video down in the video description below. I'm going to put a link for the wireless unit, uh, plus a link for my Harley Benton guitar, which may or may not be sold out when you go look at the link, but you probably want to check it out anyway. And also, I'll put a link for the, uh, the plugin that I was using uh, just to play the guitar through during the demo. All that stuff down in the video description below. Guys, thanks a ton for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you soon.